It seems the current government is now more receptive to the conduct of an international criminal court or ICC probe on the previous administration's war on drugs for alleged human rights abuses. Evidence of this is the Justice Department preparing to brief the president on the pros and cons of becoming a member of the ICC again. Clazel Pardelia has more. There's no reason to be afraid of ICC. Bakit ba lagi na lang na, oh, wag tayo sa ICC, wag na lang ganyan. If there is nothing to hide, why be afraid of ICC? That is a statement from a congressman regarding the potential reintegration of the Philippines into the Rome Statute. This comes amid the Department of Justice's preparation of a legal brief for President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. containing the benefits and consequences should the administration re-engage with the International Criminal Court. Earlier, former Senator Antonio Trillanes IV claimed the ICC will issue an arrest warrant against former President Rodrigo Duterte for alleged human rights violations during his government's war on illegal drugs campaign. Malaga din na kasama tayo sa uh, mga tawag nito, structures like ICC kasi in, sa isang, isang mundong paliit ng paliit at nagkakaroon ng crimes na mas trans, uh, yung uh, borderless crimes at minsan may pagkakataon pang yung isang bansa ay hindi na kayang papanagutin yung mga gumagawa ng krimen. I think there's some value of having this. In 2018, the Philippines withdrew from the Rome Statute in accordance with then President Duterte's orders. Lawmakers assert they will respect and support whatever decision President Marcos makes. This coincides with calls to simply pray for the country's chief executive following former President Duterte's outspoken criticism of the current administration after their request to hold a peace rally in Dumaguete was denied. Nakakalungkot po na may ganito pong mga pangyayari or ganitong mga uh, tinatawag na peace rally pero alam naman po natin na puro paninira lamang uh, mula sa mga dating uh, appointed officials, mula sa mga uh, former officials. We should all be supportive of what the current uh, administration and the current pre uh, President BBM is doing. Manila Representative Ernix Dionisio and Isabella Representative Ino D are both members of LACA CMD, a party from which Vice President Sara Duterte resigned. Recently, LACA CMD formed an alliance with the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas led by President Marcos Jr., promoting the UNI team in preparation for the 2025 elections. The question is, are the former members welcome to join the new alliance or to party coalition? The president's uh, uh, statements are very clear that uh, he still um, wants unity. Other political parties will still be welcome if they decide to uh, coalesce or align uh, with this new uh, alliance. As of press time, it has not yet been discussed what will happen if a member from the LACA CMD and a representative from the Partido Federal ng Pilipinas both want to run for the same position in the 2025 elections. Kalezal Pardilia for the new and better Philippines.